Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Now today I have another episode of Tall Tale or Not. And today's episode was sent in from Pensyfan19. He said that he has a tall tale to share with this series. So he said that the Penn Station in New York is the busiest passenger rail station in all of North America. But freight rail does not run through Manhattan, where the Penn Station is located. Yet despite being designed for passenger service, only revenue freight trains did in fact serve the busy Penn Station on a regular basis at one point. As a coal hopper would be placed behind a DD-1 electric engine and would be unloaded to power the steam heaters of, of the Penn Station. Although oper operations ended when the station was converted from third rail to overhead electric. However, most of the equipment used for this operation can still be seen today on a present day track 1 of Penn Station. Anyway, huge shout to Pensyfan19 for sending in such a wonderful story. Uh, if you haven't already checked out his channel, be sure to check out Pensyfan19's channel. Um, he has many great videos there, and uh, yeah, I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Anyway, um, this is the part of the video where you all determine whether or not you think this is a true story or nothing but a tall tale. Um, this one's an interesting one because it's not like a locomotive or a specific chunk of railway line. This is about a station and the specific operation behind the scenes, which makes this actually kind of fun because it's not like, I think it's true because I've seen that train. It's like, I think it's true because that makes sense, but I can't tell you for sure. So I'm going to say it's true just because it makes sense being there the railroad to just haul the coal in themselves instead of something like, let's bring it in the truck. Obviously, it's going to be more expensive. We're the railroad. We're already heading out this way. Bring a hopper of coal, 100 tons of coal. You know, leave it there and we'll, we'll use it as we go along. Especially since a lot of New York I know in the back then, and even still today, was steam heated and steam powered. Um, so it would make a lot of sense to, to just function that way, being a railroad station and just the way things worked back then. So I'm going to say it's a true story, but let me know down in the comments what you think is a tall tale or not. And while you're down in the comment section down below, let me know what you thought of the intro at the beginning of the video. Um, do you think we should keep it? Do you think we should get rid of it? Do you think it has room for improvement? Maybe make it shorter? Maybe make it longer? I can't imagine making it longer, but you never know what y'all could be thinking about it. Because I'm... See, I like to get to the point. I don't want to waste your time at the beginning of the video. Towards the end of the video, I look at, like, the point has been made. You guys can turn the video off if you want. You keep watching. If you're still watching by this point, Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, but if you're not, that, that, it's no big deal. You know, I completely understand. Because at this point in the video, I begin to ramble. And as a matter of fact, that's why I started YouTube, was to talk trains. So, uh, you know, I, I ramble at the end of the videos quite often. Um, if you have been watching the channel for a while, you might already know that. But, um, again, at the beginning, I like to get to the point. So I've been throwing around ideas for an intro. The beginning of uh, when I first started YouTube, I had an intro, but it was honestly no good, so I got rid of it. Um, so now I was thinking about bringing one back with different pictures of trains that have been on the channel before in the past that have been really popular. Um, that have been some of my most successful videos, um, like the Huts and the Mohawk, the Niagara, the Blue Goose. Um, that was actually the most successful video on my channel uh, by far, which is kind of shocking. I was not expecting that. Uh, but that was really cool. But anyway, um, let me know what you think of the intro. Uh, should we get rid of it entirely? I, I would... Remember, folks, uh, I have no problem with anything you say. You could go, it's complete rubbish, get rid of it. You could also say, we love it, keep it, do not get rid of it. I really... I'm leaning towards getting rid of it myself. So, there would be no skin off my teeth in any way. Um, just give me your honest opinion. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, folks, we have reached the end of the video, which means this is the part of the video where I begin to tell you what to do. <laughs> As always, folks, like, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section down below, share the video, and leave me your tall tale or not stories down in the comments as well. And now that I've told you what to do, now it's the part of the video where I tell you, folks, see you on the rails.